Hello, my name is Michel Fambro. I'm a guitarist and I'm a vocalist. I'm left-handed, so you won't be able to visually understand exactly what I'm doing except if you play, as I do, left-handed and backwards. However, you'll get to learn the same way that I've learned from right-handed players. Because I was unable to visually copy what right-handed players were doing, I had to think about what I was hearing. I had to listen. And music is more about listening. So if you're interested in learning how to play jazz and cool licks and, and, and that sort of thing, there's a thousand videos out there that can help you uh, place your fingers correctly and, and, and how to play fast and all that sort of thing. My goal is to challenge your mind to help expand your playing, to help you think more like a musician so you can find your own unique voice. So in each episode, I'll be throwing out ideas that could help trigger ideas of your own. <laughs> What I'm going to talk about in this, this segment, I'm going to talk about inverting a chord. And I'm not talking about chord inversions that most guitarists have an understanding of. I'm talking about flipping the chord around, which is as simple as it sounds. Taking what's on top of the chord and putting it on the bottom and vice versa. So, uh, to illustrate this point, I'm going to use the song uh, Summertime. I'm just going to play just a little bit of it, which will be four chords. So we have A minor. Half diminish, E7, and then A minor 6. So what you have is, is this. Summertime and the living is easy. Okay. Now, uh, so I'm going to flip these chords around. So for the A minor, I have my root on the bottom, and I have my three notes on top here. So use your ear. I'm going to take those three notes and put them on the bottom. Look what happens when I put the root on top. Different sound. But anyway, um, so but to focus, to recap again, root on the bottom, and then those three notes on top. I'm going to put those on the bottom. For the B half diminish, I'm going to take the three notes on top, put them on the bottom. And then for E7, I'm going to take those three notes, put them on the bottom, and then A minor 6, I'm going to take those three notes and put, it, put, put them on the bottom. So we end up with something like this. Summertime and the living is easy. So much deeper sound. It changes the melody a little bit. Uh, or, it, or should I say, it makes the melody feel a little different, deeper. So anyway, these are ideas for you to play around with. We'll see you next time.